Hey guys, so this video is going to be a little different. I'm going to be talking about something that I've been going through and then take you along my process. So what I'm talking about, you can probably tell by the title, is scalp cyst and they are so annoying and I'm at a point now where I just want them gone. <laughs> so for the past couple of years, I've been trying so diligently just to get rid of them naturally or shrink them, and they just keep growing. And so I decided, well, okay, I want to get them removed for a lot of different reasons. Number one is when they get bigger, there's a chance that they can rupture, and if the cyst does rupture, it can definitely get infected and cause problems, and you don't want that to happen Number two is the larger the cyst gets, it can actually affect your hair growth. So I know some of you may see Dr. Pimple Popper and you'll see like these abnormally large cysts and I frankly don't want that. And number three, it's annoying as heck, okay? Like there's times where I'll accidentally nick it with my nail it makes me not want to do scalp massages or treatments because I don't want to touch it, you know. And sometimes with updos, you don't want the claw clip or the pin to hit it. Even with the hair stick, like, I got to be careful. And so I'm going to take you along the journey. So tomorrow is the day I'm getting them removed. <laughs> Pilar cysts occur in less than 10% of the population and they are composed of keratin which is the protein that your hair, skin, and nails are made of. Pilar cysts usually occur in areas with dense hair follicles so they are most commonly seen on the head, especially the scalp, but they can also be found on the face, head, and neck. Over time the protein keratin will build up in the hair follicle and that's what creates the bump which is characteristic of a pilar cyst. Pilar cysts may be hereditary, there's not much known about how they're caused, and they are also more common in middle-aged women. Pilar cysts are often the same color as your scalp, so it can make it very hard to take a photograph of, especially if you have a lot of hair. When they're removed, they're a white substance, almost like a pearl. Mine were like the size of a pea, and then the largest one is like the size of a big jelly bean. And I would totally show you them, but the problem is the cyst is pretty much the same color as my scalp because I tried to get it on videotape, I tried to take pictures, and it just looked like scalp. So basically the biggest one is right back here, and then another one grew during the pandemic, not too far from it. And then I also have a smaller one forming here. And it just feels very hard, almost like a rock. It's such a weird feeling because when you first get a cyst and it's small, honestly it just feels like a pimple because I do get scalp pimples from time to time. So I was so determined to film a video how I naturally shrunk my cyst and I could not find any YouTube video of someone successfully shrinking their Pilar cyst and I spent a lot of money on these Etsy formulas. I tried a shampoo and serum designed to shrink cysts by Botanical Delight and the shampoo I was very disappointed. I found it made my hair feel greasy and weighed down and the serum did not work either. It was lightweight and I liked that it was aloe based. However, my cyst did not shrink and I used the serum for almost a year. And I also did hot compresses in attempts to shrink the cyst and that did not work either. And so a few months ago, I went to my dermatologist and he did say that he could remove them. However, he said in order to do that, he would have to shave like nickel size amounts in my hair and that just freaked me out and at first I was nice you know because I feel like sometimes I have to agree and I'm like sure yeah sign me up and then when I got home I'm like what the heck three nickel size amounts on my head no way and so I ended up canceling the appointment and so I have another appointment tomorrow it's with my primary doctor 
so I always advise you guys to get a second opinion if you can. And my doctor is a female and she also has long and thick hair herself. And she said she never shaves any heads or cuts any hair. Hey guys, so it's the next day. My appointment is in two hours, oh my gosh. So now my nerves are starting to kick in a little bit. However, I will tell you what I'm going to do just to prep for that and just to relax a little. So this morning I washed my hair and it's almost dry now. And I use the Aqua Blue Lavender Vanilla Shampoo and Conditioner. So no apparent reason why I used it as far as my cyst or prepping. Honestly, I just used it for the relaxation benefits. I just really wanted lavender because it's very calming. So more for the aromatherapy benefits, but it does make my hair feel really clean and just leaves the ends feeling really soft. So I did that and I just put a teeny, teeny bit of the Aqua Blue Lavender Vanilla Massage Oil. So I just put a drop of that, just one little drop, and then one little drop of the Rose Elixir and I mixed it and I just put it on my ends just to pamper myself and relax myself and I put this on my body and so that definitely helped. Another thing I'm about to do is I'm going to take some CBD oil. This is 25 milligrams so it's a fairly low dose and it's also local. CBD and hemp oil just helps to relax me especially when I feel tension and my muscles and nerves and so I'm actually going to take this now just so when I'm driving there I can just be a little more chill. So I don't think I'm going to take a full serving per se but just a half because I don't do this every day and so my tolerance is on the lower side. And rather than just swallow the oil I let it sit in my mouth a little bit and then just slowly dissolve it. I don't know if there's a right or wrong way, but that's what I do, and I wait a little bit, and then I will drink some water after. So I'm just kind of doing this routine just to relax myself when I get there. And I also had some Tia Chino, it's caffeine free. I was craving like a chocolate latte, and I feel like this kind of helped calm me down a little bit. And so, I can't wait to show you guys the results and just talk more about my experience. I'm just going to relax a little bit and I'll see you guys in a few hours. And I am back guys. So it's Wednesday evening. Today is April 28th and I just got two cysts removed. So although I had three, we actually couldn't find the third one and because I have stitches, I don't wanna just go around feeling my scalp. But as you can see, my hair actually looks quite normal. They didn't have to cut any hair. Um, there was a little bit, they accidentally, some of it like got in the stitch, like my hair was being used as a stitch, which is kind of funny because my hair is dark, it's very dark, so it's similar to the color of the stitch. And so first when I got there, they basically, they cleaned my the areas of my scalp, um, they put some alcohol, and then they did some numbing agent. And so that's what stung. I was told that was gonna be the part that hurt the most but it really didn't hurt as much as I was expecting. So when they stuck the anesthesia in there, it just stung. And I've actually been stung by a bee on my head before, so that's what it kind of reminded me of. Or if you've ever got a shot, you know, it, yeah, it stings, but it was nothing crazy. And then after that, they put this iodine, so it's like this sticky substance, kind of like castor oil, but not as thick. Luckily, because my hair is so dark, you can't even really see the iodine and so they put that on my head and then they started cutting in you know the bigger cyst is back here and I really didn't feel a thing now this little cyst I had the baby one this one hurt like heck and it still hurts so when the cyst came out this one had a lot of blood and this one was like a little baby pearl. It reminded me of like a pearl necklace. Like it was so white, but then you see all this like red stuff and I guess some like 
cottage cheese like material came out and I'm sure some of you have watched Dr. Pimple Popper so you kind of know what cysts look like. Now the big cyst here, it was about the size of a jelly bean so it kind of reminded me of like those jelly bellies that I used to eat for Easter. It's kind of gross like talking about it but whatever. Just don't eat while you're listening to this. This is not the kind of video like where you eat and chill. But anyways, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I do have some pain, but more so on this side. Like, it feels like a pretty bad headache, and also where the stitches are, it feels like my hair is braided and pulled really tightly, so that's what I'm experiencing. My doctor didn't prescribe any medication, which I'm actually kind of glad about, to be honest. Um, but I am taking some ibuprofen just because it did have a really bad headache, I felt okay after, like right after the surgery, I was talking fine, you know, I got up fine, I drove home okay, but then like once I got home, I'm like, ugh, I have a headache. So I usually only take one, but since it was throbbing, I took two, so I'm just going to be taking ibuprofen for now, and then I will take some more CBD oil tonight before I go to bed. Now, as far as getting the stitches removed, I have to wait a week, so I will update you on that day, but I'm going to update you throughout the process, and so May 5th, next Wednesday, Cinco de Mayo, for those who celebrate, is when I will get these removed. And so I can't wash my hair or get my scalp wet for two days, so I'm going to wash my hair sometime Friday, which that works out because I wash my hair every other day. So today's Wednesday, I washed it this morning, so I'm going to wash it Friday sometime in the afternoon, and then I'm going to wash it again Sunday, and then I'll wash it Tuesday, the day before I get the stitches removed. I'm just going to be really gentle. Um, and as far as sleeping, they're like, I'm going to get this messy. I've honestly had this pillowcase for many years and there's some rips in it and I just ordered some new pillowcases from Morning Glamour. This is the same brand. So they are expected to come in Friday, I believe, which will be perfect because that will mean Wednesday night and Thursday night I will sleep on this. And I'm sure it's inevitable. I'm probably gonna get some of that iodine solution blood or dried blood may come out and aqua blue is also sending me out some new shampoos and conditioners so i'm just beyond grateful like i'm looking forward to friday can't wait to get my pillowcases my shampoos and i can't wait to wash my hair so i will update you tomorrow and we'll see how my hair is doing Hey everyone, so I'm back. I'm just going to give you a little update. It's Thursday, April 29th. It's been almost 24 hours since the procedure. And so I'm feeling really good actually. Right now I don't have much pain on a scale of 1 to 10. It's maybe like a 4 at most. And I would say yesterday it was like an 8, 9 at times. Um, sleeping was the most difficult thing um, because there's a stitch in the back and then one on the side. It was just hard to find a comfortable spot. And finally, when I did, I slept on my side. I fell asleep on my arm and I had like a mini night terror and I thought my arm was falling off and I like screamed. Um, yes, I still get night terrors. Anyways, I fell back asleep on my head and it did hurt when I woke up. So I woke up in the middle of the night and then had ibuprofen and then I finally got a pretty decent sleep. Um, I didn't get much blood on the pillow. Actually, I don't see anything at all. I was quite shocked. And I was actually able to get some photos of the stitches better. I was able to move my hair around and just felt a little more comfortable navigating that. So I will link those for you. I And so I also fell asleep with my hair in a low braid. So right now the only styles I'm doing are either braids, low nautilus buns, or like a low ponytail, um, just because I don't wanna touch my scalp. And I'm brushing my hair, but I'm just focusing on the ends. I'm not going to brush 
my scalp at all until I get the stitches removed and even when I get the stitches removed um, there's going to be areas I'm just going to avoid because I just don't want to damage the wound. So I'm just going to do a really simple nautilus bun. Um, I'm actually heading out now. I have one client I have to meet with today. Um, I was going to cancel prior to this, but I said, you know what, just see how you feel the day of, and I feel pretty good. So yeah, so it will be an easy day for me work-wise. And I feel some tangles, because I didn't really brush my hair last night as thorough as I usually do. My hair is looking pretty nice. I'm actually overall pleased with this process. Okay, so think low because I don't want to pull on the scalp. Ooh, I can feel a little bit of tugging. There must be like a hair. Maybe that's tugging into the stitch. I'm just going to very gentle. I'm just going to use my hair stick. Just stay very low for now. Well, I will see you all tomorrow. It's going to be wash day and I will update you on how that goes. Right, later. Hey guys, so it is Friday, April 30th, and I finally washed my hair. So I did not get the Aqua Blue Shampoo and Conditioner. Hopefully it will come in tomorrow or Monday. However, I did use the Innate Life Herbal Shampoo just because it's really gentle and there's also no protein. So because cysts are a buildup of keratin, I'm like, well, I'm just going to avoid protein for now. But anyways, this felt really good, and despite it having the um, lemon, it didn't sting at all. So I was just very gentle when I was washing, and I pretty much just focused on the parts that weren't the stitch. Now the stitch, I would just do like a little dab and just gently pat it. And I also made sure I cut my fingernails before because I didn't want to get any bacteria from my nails or accidentally scratch the stitch. And so those are just some tips that I did. And I just let the water run on the um, stitch, just very gentle. And I made sure the water pressure was turned down. So I'll make a more in-depth video about how I washed, but I didn't want to film it the first time just in case I had a lot of blood coming out. And I just wanted to just really wash my hair for the first time and just see what it's like. And so it went really good, to be honest, and my hair is drying right now. And then for my ends, they were just feeling a little dry. I think some of the iodine and alcohol went through the lengths. So I did the John Masters uh, Rose and Apricot Mask, and now my hair is just feeling really good. And um, I'm just combing it out. I put a little bit of the Rose Elixir on the ends, and I'm really digging this tech wooden comb. So... That's what I did today. It felt so good to pamper myself and I didn't see any blood come out. So I, I know there is some dried blood when I took pictures. So maybe next time I wash it will come out. And my new pillowcases came in. I'm about to do laundry. This is the tie-dye one from Morning Glamour. And then this is the purple one. It's actually a, more of like a royal purple. It looked more like lavender on the website, but that's okay. Like, I think purple goes good with blue, and I'm really happy. I'm I will update you guys again and show you a little bit how I wash with stitches, and then Wednesday is the big day I get them removed. Well, I hope you all have a lovely weekend, and I'll see you in a couple days. And it is Sunday, May 2nd, and I'm so excited. My Aqua Blue order came in yesterday, so today I will be using the Orange Vanilla Shampoo and Conditioner for the first time. Hey guys, so I just want to give you my first impression on the Vanilla Orange Shampoo and Conditioner by Aqua Blue. My hair feels super soft. I didn't put any leave-ins or oils after just because I wanted to see, you know, what it was like with just the shampoo and conditioner. So I'm really impressed. It feels super soft. 
was really easy to brush out and the smell is incredible. Hey everyone, so it is Wednesday, May 5th, aka Cinco de Mayo and also the day I got my stitches out. I feel so good, my head feels so good. I actually woke up from a nap, my new pillowcase, and my head didn't hurt when I laid down because the stitches are off. I mean, if I press the area with my fingers with some pressure, it will hurt a little bit, but oh, it feels so good to get them removed. Um, the nurses and everyone removing them were just so gentle with my hair. And there was one stitch in the back that was a little difficult for them to get out because my skin and hair had kind of grown back, you know, and it scabbed over the stitch. And then the doctor came in and she's like, yeah, that's fine. You know, it's just part of the process and she helped remove it. It bled a little bit, but nothing crazy. So I do have some dried blood in my hair. Even though I washed yesterday, I'm going to wash after this video. I can't wait to like wash my whole scalp. Oh, and yeah, I think it's going to heal really good. I'm thinking of using the tea tree shampoo and conditioner. I've been using the aqua blue, the orange in my past two washes, and I really love it so far. But I'm feeling the tea tree oil shampoo and conditioner today. And I can't wait to have clean hair. And all together, you guys, I'm really happy about this experience. If you have any cyst on your head and you feel uncomfortable, you know, always talk to your doctor. And you can always get a second opinion. I always recommend that because if you remember my experience when I asked my dermatologist, he was the one who wanted to shave like these dime size to nickel size you know, patches in my head, and I'm so thankful I did not have to have anybody shave or cut my hair. Yeah, you know, some hairs did fall out, you know, when I got the stitches out, I was brushing my hair. However, I mean, you can't even tell, and oh, I'm so happy to have a smooth scalp. So I'm just going to continue to be really gentle for the next few months or so. I'm not going to use any scalp treatments or put anything, you know, other than shampoo on my scalp and just use my gentle shampoos and of course go a little gentle than usual when washing and keep my nails short I think will be a really good thing until it completely heals. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful and I will be putting out a video specifically showing how I washed my hair when I had stitches in my head. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up, subscribe, and if you want to follow me over on Instagram feel free and as always guys peace, love, and long hair and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye guys. Do you remember things we've done together? Talked about being so free. I'd like to kiss you desperately.